So I didn't copy all the graphs over here, but we can graph this ourselves. This is in something called vertex form. It's nice because all the variables are wrapped up right here. It's just one letter X. Okay, so you can quickly find the vertex by figuring out what it would take uh, to make this equal zero here. Because it's going to change direction around uh, where this where this part's going to be zero. So with, long and short of it is, when this, in, this is in vertex form, find out what it takes to make it equal zero. Plug in negative two. Plug in an x equals negative two. This is zero. Zero squared is zero. Zero times five is negative five is zero. Zero minus five is negative five. So you get a y coordinate of negative five. So the vertex of this graph should be at negative two comma negative five. Negative two on the x. Negative five. Yeah, I'm not going to count that many out. Negative five is over here. <coughs> and it's going to have a leading coefficient that's negative. Right? If you were to take this parentheses and expand it and do x plus 2 times x plus 2, the negative 5 would eventually distribute so that you have a negative coefficient out front. So that means it's going to be opening downward like this. And then if you still need help picking which graph, you could get a couple of other data points. I'd pick some that are not too huge, like uh, negative 5 is where it switches directions. So let's plug in negative 4 and negative 6, one on either side. And if you plug in, oh wait, sorry, negative 2 is where we switch directions, sorry. I was looking at the y coordinate. <clears throat> we plug in negative 2, we got y equals negative 5. If you plug in negative 1, or if you plug in negative 3, 1 on either side. If you plug in negative 1 over here, you get 1, 1 squared is 1, 1 times 5, negative 5 is negative 5, negative 5 minus 5 is negative 10. If you plug in negative 3, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1, negative 1 squared is 1, 1 times negative 5 is negative 5, negative 5 is get the same thing on either side. So you should see dots um, at negative 1 and at positive 1 down at negative 10 on the y-axis. Okay, and again, wait, this one's, that's basically the same thing. Okay, so that's how you want to graph and find that vertex first and then use the leading coefficient to help you determine whether it's going to make a u or an n. This one's also going to be an n. A quick sketch, um, if you plug in negative 1, that would make this be 0. So we know the vertex is going to be at negative 1, comma 1. And then a uh, couple of the dots, if you plug in 0, 1 that's negative 2 plus 1 that's negative 1. So at x equals 0, we should have y equals negative 1. And if you plug in 2, uh, sorry, if you plug in, yeah, if you plug in 2 here, uh, negative 2. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative squared. Negative 2. should also be a dot over here. So to help you further eliminate, you'll just have to get a couple other points by plugging them in, you know, making that X and Y table.